Now you listen to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from? Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. The assembly as Yah prosecutor. There's a righteous or there's a religious spirit of today where men do not think they can be judged by another man. You can tell that these are the ignorant folks that don't know the law. We have to go into this because it's talked about so little. You notice we've been building on this. Because all the assemblies all over the world are way out of order. So what y'all is doing is putting a witness in this day in the earth. Yep, no excuse. We live in a time where wicked men do not believe that they can be judged by the elders or the assembly. Case law and common questions answered. Closure for victims who are being abused by fellow Israelites. Matthew 18, 15 says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. And if he shall hear you, you have gained a brother. Y'all get that? But if he will hear you not, then take with you two or three what? Two or more witnesses. Take with you two or three, two or three more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every what? Now, that word is not your word. That word is y'all's order. May be established. And if he neglect to hear them, tell it to the assembly. And if he neglect to hear the assembly, let him be unto thee as a what? Heathen or what? Publican. That's, that's when you ostracize, you get them out from among you. Where did this come from? Over in the law. Deuteronomy 17, 6. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death, but at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to what? The hands of the witness shall first be upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hands of all the people. So you shall put the evil away from among you. Y'all's always been about putting away rebels, those who are determined to cause discord, pain, strife, I mean, really, away from them. If matters are too hard for judgment, check this out. Same chapter, Deuteronomy 17, 8. If there arise a matter too hard for you in judgment, between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke, being matters of controversy within your gates, then you shall arise... And get thee up into the place which Yahweh, the Elohim, shall choose. And you shall come unto the, come unto the what? No, no, no. Today, you just go straight to the Father. You see, it's arrogant and egotistical to think that we can go to the Father and bypass his order. Well, we ain't got no priests today. No, but he's got apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, elders, bishops, deacons. Yeah, he, oh, so wise guy ministers, huh? See, this is the order. Same yesterday, today, and forever. So if there's a matter, is it too hard for you? You go to the priest, Levites, and unto the what? The judge. And shall be in those days and inquire, and they shall show you the sentence of what? Isn't that something? 
So you mean tell me you got to go to some man that's going to show you the sentence of judgment? Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You shall not do according. I mean, you shall do according to the to what? The sentence. You shall do according to the what? The sentence which they of the place which Yahweh shall choose shall do what? Show you. Notice, Yah ain't showing you. These men are showing you what Yah says. You see the reason why a lot of people kick the traces? Because after they get judged, they can't handle it. And you shall observe to do according to all that they inform thee. Isn't that something? Saints, this is the wicked lawless. This is a lawless wicked generation which will not be judged by Yah or his men. Do y'all do realize that, right? Verse 11 says, according to the sentence of the law, which they shall teach you, and according to the judgment, which they shall tell. Now, who is it? Is y'all coming out of the Shemaim and doing all this? See, a lot of people, well, they like it out. They ain't nobody getting out scot-free. See, we're just one of the little drops in the buckets of y'all's assembly on the earth. And all these people that reject all, all these words right here, reject judgments, reject corrections and reproof, you think you're getting by because breath is in your body. Ha, ah, you breathing. <laughs> Y'all going to get you. Thou shalt do. You hear that? What? And according to the judgment which they shall tell thee, you shall do. You shall not decline from the sentence which they show you. To the left hand or, I mean to the right hand or to the left. Is that right? In other words, whatever they tell you to do, don't you have this deferred spirit? If I tell you something, I say seven days, I don't mean 20 days and a half. See, because in the midst of this, your heart is being checked still. See, if you're going to perform the things that was in front of you, you're going to see where your heart really is. If I tell you three, I didn't say 15 days and five months. See, this is how light we take the command. This is how I know that people don't know the instructions. Because after you get told things, we watch and see how you function. We can tell you you ain't got the word in you. David was so in tune with Yah that he put his word in his heart. And the reason why he put it there, because he had no intentions of sinning against him. That didn't mean he was going to be exempt from sin. huh? He would always get correct and get right back on the right path because that word that was in his heart. You get it? See, we make light of this. We don't, as a matter of fact, we don't even ever read this part. And the man that will do what? Boy, we done heard enough of them messages and still ain't heard enough. And the man will do presumptions and will not hearken unto the priest that standeth to minister before who? Yahweh your Elohim. Or unto the what? Judge. Even that man shall do what? Die. And thou shalt put away the what? Evil from Israel. See, we, since we know we're in captivity, we can't be going around killing folks, so we just have to put the evil away. And a lot of times we ain't got to worry about it. All we got to do is bring judgment. You put yourself away. You know the reason why you do that? Because you're too prideful. And all the people shall hear and fear and do more. No more what? Every time they see somebody judge, everybody think the opposite is going to work. Well, I'm going to go spit in all these people's ear, and I'm going to get my allies together, and I'm going to kick the traces. No, you only get them that are not his in the first place. The ones that fear y'all, they go, oh, I'm going to stick around. I see what happened to you. <laughs> see, you can tell people they, ain't read, they, they, don't, they don't read the book. Righteous men and women love judgment. Did y'all hear that? And they run to it because they love Yahweh. But wicked men and wicked women flee. They flee it. That means they run from it. Many of you do not have the fear of Yahweh because you do not fear his word. 
See, those of us that automatically fear him, we don't have to be told to fear him. It's already in us. I don't need you around to live righteous. I'll live righteous without you being around. I'm not going to go out here and practice sin because you ain't around. I don't fear you. I fear him. That's the same thing you should be doing. That's why he said in Jeremiah 3.15, I will give you what? So you can kick against, fuss against, fight against, judge, and everything else. Mind you, I just got finished showing you an aspect of the law that you don't even walk after. And yet you're a teacher of the law, right? A doctor of it. Amazing, huh? So y'all's got this program set up. I'm going to give you a pass according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Ephesians 4.80 says, Wherefore saith, wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, they led captivity captive and gave gifts. Gave what? Yeah. Unto who? Yeah. Don't everybody want a gift from the Father? Yeah. We all love receiving gifts, don't we? Yeah, because yeah, they pervert our wicked judgment. No, you like the righteous gifts, right? Yeah, okay, good. We got online. Yeah. We all love good gifts that come from the Father. Good. Hallelujah. Still can't even rejoice in that either. Huh? That's just sad and pathetic, isn't it? Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same that also ascended up far above the heavens, that he might fulfill all things. There's a reason why he went down and went up. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some and some all of these gifts. Don't y'all like receiving gifts? Huh? So I'm standing up here as a gift to you. You know how that? Y'all said, here's my gift, and you the one that came. To do what? To receive the gift. Y'all got this Christmas spirit. We won't take it back, darling. We want to use it up, abuse it, and then take it back. Run the batteries down and everything, tear it up and then take it back. It, it, it was broke from the beginning. <laughs> that goes for anything that Yah calls. Sorry, men ain't calling men. For the perfecting of the what? So all these gifts are there to perfect the who? Not you to perfect them. Uh oh. Y'all hear that? For the work of the what? For the edifying of the body of? You mean the building you up? Yeah, all of them. Till we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of Yah unto a perfect what? See, you ain't going to get perfect by yourself. Yah's got gifts set up to make you perfect. Oh. Until the measure of the fullness of the statue of Christ. For what purpose? That we henceforth be no more children. Y'all heard me last night on the radio, right? Talking about this guy here, tell you, turn around, he talk, brother, you eating all too many tables. How many times I say that? Huh? Brother, you eating all too many tables. But man, what is the problem here? Man, you eating all too many. That's why you're confused. <laughs> I can't just and whisk your confusion away. I'm telling you what your problem is. That we in for be tossed to and fro. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. By the slight of men and cunning craftiness. Whereby they lie and wait to do what? Sorry folks. But there are people that desire to make merchandise of you. Really. They want to use you. For their own, own little work. That's what they want to do. People today think. They want righteousness and true holiness, but people love the Yah they have created in their own religious mind. You got a God that you serve in your own mind. That's why you make cliches like this. I serve Yah. How can you serve Yah without serving a brother? Huh? How can you do that? When Yah always points you towards the love of the brethren too. Uh-oh. 
submission to each other. Oh, you forgot that part, didn't you? See, now, it is something, bro, Charles. These folks are out of their mind. They folks are out of their mind. I'm telling they are they, they gone. They think they can serve y'all without submitting to each other. Sister Caroline, come on for a second. Y'all seen that video I did about that boot licking pastor, right? Hmm? Can you imagine? Here's a, a sister that's very submissive in the, the assembly. She respects her pastor. You follow me? You get it? Loves everybody in the assembly. Huh? And because of her love of Yah, he going to push and use his manipulative, dominant spirit on this sister because of her love for Yah. Because she love a pastor. She love Yah. You get it? And this demon devil full of hell is going to turn around and creep and talk about a business adventure. Whether you like it or not, men do have power of influence. And I'm going to sit up here, this, I'm going to be that guy. Say I, I say I love my brother, but I'm sleeping with his wife. He think he done escaped the judgment of y'all. Even as a pagan, but y'all going to get his ass. You get it? What I see is I see a sister that loves, that is in submission. She loves me. Do you love me? She loves me. She loves her husband. And I go, man, isn't this beautiful? Man, my brother got a, found a wife, good thing, attained favor with y'all, glory, hallelujah. And I be trying to find brother's wives, but, but among a woman, can't find none. I sit up here and look, man, this is a beautiful thing. That, that's how my heart is constituted. Set up and exploit. A daughter of Zion because of the way her heart loves the father and loves her husband and loves her pastor and you're going to use that's why y'all see the reason why I'm so upset why I want to string his ass up by his toes I give you some forgiveness there ain't nothing but a devil that was set up there as a man of God and secretly behind the scene creeping Saying words to use the tenderness of a heart. See, that's a wicked devil right there. That's a devil that's indwelling inside that man that's now influencing this woman. Oh, don't get me wrong. Are women wicked as hell? Hell yeah, they wicked as hell. I'm telling you the man side of this. Come over and talk about a business adventure. Yeah, you come to the dining hall, sit at the table where everybody around you, you can talk about a business adventure. How about that? Bless you, sister. See the reason why I be so upset? If we don't, Israel, be serious about this, the generation coming behind us ain't going to be worth a damn. That's why you need to have your houses in order. Because some of you, your children are watching how you behave behind closed doors. When they get older, they like, man, ain't no way in hell I'm gonna do I ain't following that crap. I'm just here for the time being, buy my time until I get free, and I'm gonna go be a good pagan. That stuff burns me, brother. It burns me, man. Hey, she is your sister and, and you sitting up here on the inside of your mind dressing her down in the spirit of your mind and your eyes. Got, got lustful eyes cutting. Trying to straighten yourself up. Oh, hallelujah. Now you see the reason why the whole congregation is corrupt. Blind lead the blind. I mean, you got to take two to tangle, right? But, but still, is not the congregation corrupt? Where they get their corruption from? Because they're influenced by the same spirit. The damn spirit of frogs. Unclean, lustful spirit going out. 
See, the way I talk and carry myself, if you ain't around, man, sisters, man, they're very careful how they approach and talk with me. Very careful. When you ain't even right, we, I don't even hardly say a word to sisters. Some of them I can go six months to a year and never say one thing to. They don't take it personally. They don't ever sense any doom, 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 doom. They don't ever hear no communication radiating off of me that I'm trying to draw them. If anything, they 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 trying to dodge this spiritual hammer that's coming from out. You remember that game called Rock'em Sock'em? <laughs> that's a healthy relationship. And when you come against that, you are coming against their God. To mean, to mean these own gods they create in their own mind. Now what are we missing? Is this y'all's word? It's one thing. Going, that's doing the judgment, not men. That's the only thing. Men are required by law of Yah to interpret the law for what it says. And carry out Yah's judgments. Law breaking deceivers. See, the Bible is under great attack today because I read earlier that in the Orthodox Christians, they deny that John 7.35 to John 8.11 is not even in the original Greek. Okay, let's, let's just say it ain't in the original. But the principles of Torah are still there. So listen, I'm going to show you how to answer those who attack the writing. Some, to, attack the, to attack that some writing, I can't write, man. That are not in the original. You know how it happens? You start thinking and you get to typing and you, and you type faster with your mind. Listen, if certain passages are not in the Bible, then surely the scriptures, capital, sanction, and are against adultery has been altered. In other words, we know that the scriptures cannot be broken. Yah still has given us power to adjudicate matters of lawlessness. You remember the woman that was caught in the act of adultery? That's what that whole passage is all about. The example. Look at this in Exodus 22, 21, 22. If men strive and hurt a woman with what? So that her fruit depart from her and yet no what? Mischief follow. He shall surely be punished according as the woman's what? Husband will lay upon him. So why do you think Christ was able to forgive the thief on the cross, on the tree? Because it was in his power to, to have mercy. There ain't nothing spiritual about it. All I got to do is know the principles of the law. I would have mercy on whom I would have mercy. That's how he got mercy. You get it? Ain't no need in spirit getting spiritual. It's just that simple. The husband is the one. He could either choose to have mercy or he can lay down the law. Either way it goes, y'all approves of it. Because he put that judgment in his hand. You get it? And he shall pay as the judge is determined. The judge is going to determine based on what the husband says. The judgment there is to make sure that the judgment is carried out. The forgiveness of sin is an act to restore you to moral and judicial wholeness. When you get forgiveness of sin, all that thing is doing is trying to put you back in right order where you're supposed to be. See, in that, that woman, she was bought with all these accusers up here, right? Said she was caught in the very act. Christ began to write on the ground, right? Hmm? He already knew that this was a hung, wicked, treacherous, so-called jury up there trying to condemn her. A bunch of judges trying to condemn her. He already knew that, right? Hmm? So, after he got finished removing all of these people out of the way, he turns to the woman and says, where are your accusers? Because they came the wrong way. How many times did the Pharisees always come to Christ tempting him? 
Not that they were really truly wanting justice. It's just that they wanted to discredit him. Same thing going on here. He knew their hearts. So I he moved them all out of the way, he said, woman, where are your accusers? Well, nowhere, nowhere. He says, then guess what? Neither do I accuse you. See, he, that's his choice, to show mercy. And he showed mercy. Is that right? And then he told her, go and He didn't say you're going to stop sinning. He's telling her, don't go doing that sin no more. For what she was bought for. He knew that she was guilty. But you got the boot liquor that didn't show up. Christ knew the law. With his kangaroo court system. Huh? He says go and sin no more. Meaning don't you go do that sin. No more. He's putting her back on moral ground. Righteous ground. Look, your sins are forgiven. Many. Now your slate is clean. Now walk in the newness of this life. That's why I don't understand if you really truly been forgiven of sin. Why at the mention of even an account of something that you were guilty of in the past, why you get all jacked up? <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Either you're forgiven or you're not. You see, whenever he healed that woman, he made her whole, didn't he? Yes, yes. When you get for sins forgiven, you're made whole. The wholeness is to give you the strength to walk new. Yes. And in that walking new, that means you will function as if you had never even done it before. If your heart condemns you, he's greater than your heart that condemns you. All you got to do is check that wicked heart. You don't have to worry about no condemnation. Make it sense? The very act of us committing sin is against Yah. Yahweh is the victim who names the penalty or he can extend mercy. We're back in case law again, okay? I need to take this a little bit slower because this is law. All right? Oh, you, the system of this world corrupt, but where do you think they learn how to, to do law? A legal claim. In matters of law, Yahweh has his authorized agents. We do not comprehend this if the agitator of the lawsuit is the victim. You ever heard me use that word agitators? Y'all don't watch YouTube videos, do you? A lot of these protesters are nothing but agitators. He is not acting primarily on his own behalf, but as an agent of Yah. You get that? When you have go before um, the system of Yah, the elders, the pastors, all them, they're not, they're, they're, don't take this personally. It ain't nothing personal between you and I. We're, not act, we're acting as an agent on behalf of Yah, representing his word. Because when you talk to us, we don't hear about how you feel. How I feel, how you feel, totally irrelevant. We're there to actually bring forth what Yah says. So when we're listening to you, sorry, but I ain't listening to your damn feelings. They're totally irrelevant. See, if I started listening to you, playing favoritism, going on your feelings, then I'm sitting up, I'm set up here accepting a spiritual bride. Can't do that. Same for witnesses who bring evidence before the elders. They are acting as representatives, agents of Yahweh. You get it? Witnesses are not victims. They have no legal claim. They do not act on their own behalf. Men of Yah are his authorized representatives to defend the integrity of his name. Deuteronomy 28, y'all remember what a curse is? Verse 15 through 68, right? It is a list of judgments, war, 
pestilence and famine that come upon a people if we don't obey. In other words, go ahead, get outside of you all system, make no difference. All these curses shall come upon you. No matter where you are. You his, these will follow. Unsolved murder in a field. Dabarine 21, 1 from the scriptures, when anyone is found slain lying in the field, in the land which Yahweh your Elohim is giving you to possess, and it is not known who smote him. Watch how righteous his law is. Then your elders and your judges shall go out and they shall measure the distance from the slain man to the cities round about. In other words, what, 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 what count is he closer to? And it shall be that the elders of that city nearest to that slain man shall take a heifer which has not been worked and which is not pulled with a yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring the heifer down to, in other words, you know, like a, a creek. A rough way down at a creek where the water's flowing. Wadi. With flowing water, which is neither plow nor sown, and they shall break the heifer's neck there in the wadi, or the rough place. And the priests and the sons of the Levites shall come near, for Yahweh your Elohim has chosen them to serve him and to bless in the name of Yahweh, you get this? By their mouth, every strife and every stroke is tried. You mean to tell me about the men of Yah he set up? By their mouth, every strife, and every stroke is tried. But see, anytime you get mad and upset, I ain't submitting that. You go act, exercise your Gentile liberty. You know, I got people that decide they're going to exercise their Gentile liberty. Well, I'm gone. I, 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 I need some time to myself. Go ahead, take all the time you want. They kick some, kick Tracy, never. Then all of a sudden, uh, six months, eight months later, uh, uh, well, brother, you know, we've been thinking, can we come back? I got right now, there's at least 25 people waiting on an answer to come to one of the home assemblies. You didn't tell us when you left. Hypocrite. No telling how much jacked up you don't win and got. We've been in this walk in this way in the war on the battlefield. I'm on the battlefield. For my y'all, yeah. See, we didn't go AWOL. No, that's right. We still here. We still in a battle. We still in a fight. And your butt go AWOL absent without leave. And we supposed to let you in without giving you an article 15. Without trying you. What kind of mind is this? We'll see how long you hold out until judgment. See if you really want to come back. See, we, we be doing things. And we expect, that, <laughs> we expect everybody to just tolerate us. No matter how ignorant we are. And then they wonder why come they still ain't got an answer for me. Isn't that amazing? See how easy it is for you to see when I start talking about this stuff? Because the law be coming out. Here we is in the war, in the fight, in the battle. And you turn around and leave in the heat of the battle. And now we're in the dead season when things are calm again. And now all of a sudden you won't come back. Sound like the talents, don't it? Huh? Sound like the five wise and five foolish, don't it? Amazing, isn't it? And so if you're still listening, now y'all probably, now you got your answer. The reason why I come, I ain't still ain't answer you yet. How's it that we got to maintain integrity? Through thick and thin. Through hell or high water. But you can leave and kick the traces in the heat of the battle and go jump ship to another country. See, we don't even see what we're doing. Then we're supposed to come back and receive you with open arms. We didn't even get, your, we didn't even get to sing you off. Right. The prodigal son got sent off. Yeah. 
You see, they have the mindset we come back. Kill the biggest black Angus you got. I ain't celebrating a damn thing because you come back. You ain't going to do them or bring more death, hell, headache, and sorrow because you ain't been living nothing. You ain't been in nothing. You ain't got a lick of integrity in your heart and you think you're going to judge us? See if we see fit or you see fit if we're worthy to be able to uh, have your company. We don't lost the fear of God in this generation, I'm telling you. The reason why they come back because they know it ain't nothing else out there. See, ain't too many people see it like this. Not until I explain it. But it's amazing that even in the midst of this and by their mouth, every stripe and every stroke is tried. Isn't that amazing? And let the elders of the, that city, nearest to the slain man, wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken at the rough place, the wadi. They shall answer and say, our hands have not shed in this blood, nor have I seen it. In other words, they're going to clear themselves, right? But the elders of the city got to do that. Not the people. The ones that's a leader of that. I know, ain't no elders because you it. Self-appointed, self-anointed, self-called, self-appointed. All of it. See the reason why people can't submit to righteous judgment? They get bright ideas and, and in so-called obeying the law, they transgressing it. Wise guys. Y'all see the reason why I be mocking these folks? Two, three, four, five years you've been in this and you think you know this law better than I do. You know how to live this thing better than I do. Man, get out of here. I run circles around you. I ain't here to run circles around. I'm here to be a helper of your faith. Mm. Oh, Yahweh, forgive your people, Yisrael, whom you have redeemed and do not allow. Innocent blood in the midst of your people, Yisrael, and the blood guilt shall be pardoned to them. Now, the whole idea of that is, think about this. If you don't do that, guess what? Y'all finna bring something down on you as a people. You don't go out there and make Dylan Jinkery or this dead person that's sitting here in your providence. Don't worry about it. Y'all get hold to you. When you start seeing the pommel worm and the canker worm and everything else destroying your land, you ain't got to ask what's wrong. Roundup ain't helping nothing. Pesticides ain't helping nothing either. They ain't even starting it. You cursed. Thus, you purge the guilty of innocent blood from the mist, from your mist, when you do what is, when you do what is, not have mental sin of knowing what's right. When you do what is right. In the eyes of Yahweh, criminals, transgressors are subject to several types of civil, civil sanctions. You see, we live in a time of undermining, disobedient so-called saints who will not accept Hebrew law. This is why our only recourse in captivity is to put the evil away from us. These are the people that were right in their own eyes and they were not going to submit to godly authority. But if it this but it be it this life or the next, Yahweh will judge them. Corporal punishment. Lashings. Deuteronomy 25, 1. If there be a controversy between men, that they come unto judgment, that the judges may judge them, then they shall justify the what? Righteous and condemn the what? The wicked. And if and it shall be, if the wicked man be worthy to be beaten, that the judges shall cause him to lie down and to be beaten before his face according to his fault by a certain number. Forty stripes he may give him and not exceed, lest if he should exceed and beat him above these with many stripes, then thy brother should sing vile unto thee. You should not muzzle the ox and tread it out the corn. You get that? In other words, you don't take judgment away from those who have the authority to do it. 
And when we go to renew covenant, we see two times that Paul is referring to this muzzle and the ox treading out the corn as opposed to having honor and showing honor and giving honor to them that are due. First Timothy 5, 7, he says, let the elders, just like there was elders or judges back then. Now, he, over here, Paul is interpreting and telling us, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of what? Double honor, especially. Isn't that, that, that's a special word right there. Isn't it? Especially they who labor in word and in double honor. You got elders that honor, but then you got those that rule well that are required double honor. For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox and tread out the corn, and the labor is worthy of his reward. Against an elder receive not an accusation, but before two or three what? Witnesses. Not hearsays, but what? Witnesses. First Corinthians 9, 1 through 9. Come on, brother Shane. Y'all all right? Yes, Y'all okay? Doing well? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? All right, now wait a minute. What, what in the world, what is Paul doing here? Am I not an apostle? He's asking the question. You get that? He's asking the question of you. Get on, go read on. Am I not free? Read. Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Savior? Now he's telling people, see, he got an eyewitness that he's seen Christ. Read on. Are not ye my work in the master? Isn't that something? Everyone's listening to Paul. He's calling you his work. In who? The master. Come on. If I be not an apostle unto others, Yet, doubtless I am to you. Let me modernize this. If I'm not a pastor or anybody else, I am to you. That's what Paul basically is saying. Read on. For the seal of mine apostleship are ye in the Savior. You get it? You're the seal of the ministry. The seal of my pastorship. Everybody listen to the Apostle Paul. He, they, he, they are the seal of his apostleship. Read on. Mine answer to them that do exercise me is this. You hear that? My answer to them who judge me is this. Have we not power to eat and to drink? Have we not power to lead about a sister, a wife, as well as other apostles? And as the brethren of the master and Cephas? Or I, only in Barnabas, have not we power to forbear working? Who? Goeth a warfare at any time at his own charges. Who planteth a vineyard and eateth not of the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth a flock and eateth not the milk of the flock? Now, I'll tell you, he's drawing some analogies, isn't he? Let me modernize it. He said, give me some money. Take care of me. Because I'm worthy. I'm laboring to making sure you're taken care of. Isn't that something? Come on. Say I these these things. Boy, I take Christianity. They capitalize on this stuff, don't they? They'll preach sermons and have revivals over this stuff. Hmm? Grieving you half to death. Read on. Say I these things as a man? Or saith not the law the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Doth Yah take care for oxen? Does he? Yes. Read on. That it? If Yah take care of oxen, shouldn't he take care of his men? Yes, well, I, I know Yah, he's going to come down and do it himself, right? Ah, Yah ain't going to come down and do it himself. You get it? All this is in the Torah, Israel. Every bit of this is. For our edification, our exhortation, and our comfort. You follow me? You are your greatest enemy and don't even know it. You are. Ain't nobody after you but you. And many times you be creating enemies. Oh, 
Oh, hallelujah. This is truth. I hope we get it. I read you, but don't worry about it. If you don't, it'll get you. Either way it go, you're going to get got. Is that proper English? It is. It's good enough, isn't it? Get got, got good. I hope that y'all revisit these teachings. I, I really truly do because they'll really help y'all because there's no way you can get all this in one set. Yeah, I mean, your spirit is engaged, but there's no way you can digest all this in one set. I know how the mind works. We get fed all this, man, three months later, you can't remember a word that was said. I ask you a week later, what was the title? I don't know. We're struggling to find it. That's why you just have to keep the word ever before you. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Y'all's good, isn't it? All right. All you people out there wearing me out and stuff. Um, if um, you're going to donate to the ministry, if you want to, you're going to do it by PayPal or something like that. And PayPal. Them boogers still owe me $170. I'm still bitter over that, man. <laughs> boogers been owing me that money, man, for 10 years or more. Yeah, man. And them bootlickers. What they want, they want anyway. Madonna, she says she can blow up the White House and nothing happened to her. If I say that, man, you're going to see black vehicles down here, man, with people with boom mics in their ears and everything else. You can be a witch and get away with everything in this country. Isn't that sad? Uh, you email me or contact me some way, we'll give you an email whereby you can, whereby you can donate if you choose so to do. If y'all are so inclined to your heart. See how intelligent I sound at times? I should be mesmerizing you, man. Y'all yeah. is good. Y'all let these sayings sink deep down in your hearts, all right? All right, y'all, we thank you for all things. We humbly ask and request to make this in the name of Yahshua that your grace, tender mercies be upon us, that we would retain the teachings that are given here to us, that they would be in our hearts and remind us of your truth so we can walk this out and bring glory to your magnificent name. In my name is Yahshua. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. King coming. <laughs>